Hello, thank you for joining Raspi PK on our tutorials. I'm Martin Parker, and in this video, we're going to be communicating to a Google Home Mini via Python. Uh, we're going to get it to play some sound, um, at which you will be building up to my next video where I put it into my actual um, home heating and security control so that when a sensor triggers, um, it will broadcast over my Google Home Minis, either downstairs, all over the house or whichever, depending on um, what time of the day it is. Uh, obviously at night, it's not going to do it in the bedrooms, um, otherwise it will wake my little boy up. Now I'm actually in my bo little boy's room um, because it's quiet upstairs. Um, if the dog downstairs um, and Oliver's playing um, my Fortnite or Minecraft or something, um, so that could be uh, a bit vocal. Um, so basically um, I'm going to show you what a Google Home Mini is. It's just lit up, I guess I've said its name. <laughs> um, so my webcam on, so as you can see I'm in, in his room, a space theme. There is a Google Home Mini. Hey Google, who am I? Your name is Martin. Thank you, because uh, I do not know my own name. Um, but um, I'm going to control that speaker which is in Oliver's room. Uh, so I'm just going to turn off my webcam um, and I'm going to bring up um, Python IDLE, Python Shell. Um, you may use Moo or Fonny um, IDLE for your Python scripts, but I prefer Python Shell. So here we go. Um, I'm going to be using the, a library called Pi Chromecast. Um, you will have it uh, as default so you'd have to install it and this is how you would install it so on the command line enter pip free install pi chrome cast um, I've already got it so it's going to say that I'm perfectly fine I'm sorted like so um, but it will say press a Y to install it and it'll just go off and do it. It won't take long. Um, and when you've done that, then you can import Pi Chromecast. And there we go, it's now imported. Um, there is a help so you can find out information about Pi Chromecast. Um, and it's 182 lines, so if I do double click that. Uh, it tells you a lot about it so this is really useful and, and what we're going to be doing is we're gonna use the media controller uh, to actually get it to play um, some media um, so there we go so I'm just gonna I've already imported um, Pi Chromecast but I'm also gonna import um, OS for a simple reason I'm going to change my directory where I currently am I'm not going to actually create a file to actually run uh, I'm just going to do everything from like the uh, Python command line sort of thing so um, I'm going to do OS change directory um, and it's going to be f through my home Pi desktop and into the home folder which is where I have my um, home heating security control um, everything's in that home folder on this um, machine that I'm working on my book by laptop um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to in from my underscore house underscore settings import um, I'm not going to import star I just need the actual list that I call dialogue um, dialogue is a list of five URLs um, which are Dropbox URLs and that's why I'm not gonna I'm not gonna display them on screen um, so you can't look at what I've got in there um, well you only see the actual basically they are 
five MP3s, um, but um, I don't want to give out my information, so that's why I'm just importing it like that. Right, so um, so forgetting the previous um, two lines, they're kind of irrelevant. It's only just so that I can get into my um, my settings, basically. Um, so I'm going to call a device. Um, and that's going to be pi chromecast dot capital C chrome cast and it's after an IP address um, the local IP of your Google Home Mini um, and I know that Oliver's is 168 dot uh, sorry 192 dot zero dot three so whoa hold your horses I'm just gonna jump in here um, I'm just adding this into the video um, so I'm just gonna show you something um, that I didn't show you um, if you if you're like me and you've got more than one Google Home Mini um, you can actually get all of your local Google Home Mini uh, or Google Homes, whichever, um, that you have on your network. Um, so I'm just going to import my Chromecast. So I'm just going to do this quickly. Uh, cast equals Pi Chromecast dot. And if I wait, you'll see it has a get Chromecast. So I'm just going to tell it to actually look for all of the devices. And it's going to come back in a few seconds so it's checking over my actual network and there we go it's done and um, so if I do a quick for loop for I in casts um, and then I'm going to print um, device um, yeah let's go device and then we'll go I dot name so it's going to print out the actual uh, devices so it's going to print out um, it's not going to do just the names um, I'll explain that in a second so there we go we've got the master bedroom um, we've got a living room kitchen and office and Oliver speaker so we actually have five of speakers these are actual groups so I've set a, a group for an alarm um, I've set a group for downstairs, upstairs and all groups. Um, these groups um, I can get it to play over a certain group rather than doing it through an exact speaker like I did it on Oliver speaker. Um, so I would just thought I would show you the get Chromecast um, function um, because that will help you out um, on where you're going to play it around with. So I thought I'd just uh, jump into that video and add this in. And I'll put you back there now. So thank you. That variable device is now set. And what I need to do is I need to tell it to wait for further commands. Like so. Um, and then I'm going to call a, um, a variable called media. Um, and that is going to be equal to device dot and if I wait you'll see the pop-up um, and I can actually choose all of these um, as part of the device um, just like I did the help um, if I did help on device it would give me information on how to use these um, functions um, but we're going to go with media controller so I'm just going to type it in rather than clicking on it because I'm not lazy, uh, even though I can't spell. <laughs> um, so there we go. So that is now set in there. And now I can tell the media um, to play underscore media. And it's after, I just move my cursor, uh, my, my pointer out of the way it's after a URL now like I say I have um, 
five URLs in my dialog. So I'm just going to enter dialog uh, and I'm going to select um, the first one in that list. Um, and then I need to tell it what type of media it is. And it is audio um, and it is MP3. So as soon as I click that, you should start to hear it coming from the Google Home Mini. Um, and just in case, I'm going to tell it to turn the volume up. And you can actually tell it in the uh, in the script as well. Um, you can control it that way. Um, hey Google, volume 50%. There you go, it's now set. And if I press enter. Front door open. There you go. That is the first one in my dialog. And if I choose the next one, it will then play that one. Rear door open. And if I go on to this one, I can do the next message, which is the front garden movement, I think. Front garden movement. And to the next one. I could have done a for loop to go through these, to be fair. Um, yeah, I could have done. Side garden movement. And then the next one, which is the last one. Rear garden movement. There you go. Um, so I am I, I'm communicating with my Google Home Mini, um, getting it to play media. Um, which is what I will be bringing in to on my next video as part of this playlist for my home heating security control uh, which is kind of like a, um, a home assistant if you like um, but I've coded everything myself um, rather than it being um, some software that you install I like to do stuff my own way um, so that's it for this video um, check out the next video and you'll see me putting in these um, bits into my home heating security control so that when a sensor is triggered now that I've finally got it sorted <laughs> um, and that's why I've, there's been a delay in my doing a video um, maybe two three weeks now um, but when I trigger a sensor next time I will show you me um, on my on my phone because uh, I can bring up my camera system um, so using the webcam you can look at my phone and you'll see me walk outside and you'll hear the Google Home Mini it's lit up now because I've just said it to set up your speaker or smart <laughs> display open the Google Home app at the top left hey Google tap the stop you're ruining my video um, yeah so basically I don't see any remote devices linked to your account you can add devices in hey, the Google, Google Home app. Stop. Ah. Technology that can be annoying sometimes. <laughs> um, yeah, so have a look at the next video and you will see me walking around outside and you will hear the, <clears throat> without me saying it so it doesn't wake up, um, um, telling you that I'm outside and I'm causing movement uh, so thank you for watching please like and share and subscribe if you don't already um, if that, that would be fantastic and I will catch you in the next one